Let's talk about the models as it relates to their physical differences. 32 ohms comes with a straight and shorter cable. Uh, the cable's also a little bit more rubbery than it is plastic. The 80 and the 250 have a little bit more of a plasticky type, you know, durable, and, and there's nothing wrong with the 32's rubbery feel. It's just rubbery versus more of a harder plastic. And the 32's also have pleather ear pads, plastic leather. They're not leather, uh, but they're not entirely plastic. Leatherette, I believe, is what they're called. But just know that all of these headphones are slightly different in how they appear. It's not just what's on the inside. It's not just the labeling. Uh, the cabling is also different for each. And same thing with the ear cups. So the 80 ohm version has a straight, longer cable. Now I'm showing you the 250 here, which is coiled. So this is the only coiled version. 80 ohm is a much longer cable. It's like twice the length of 32. It's also straight. Uh, it's that more of a plasticky feel than rubbery. Uh, but the 80s have the velour head pads. Same as these. Oh, super comfortable. You can wear them forever. If you have glasses on underneath, they're going to conform around the glasses and not push on your temples. Uh, they're also interchangeable, replaceable. Velour is great. I would also say on the 80s, the headphone cable is so long. It only needs to be like two-thirds of that length. The 32 is not uncomfortably short, but it's noticeably short. The ones on the 80s are like noticeably long. And then here, finally, the 250s. Um, and I, I do prefer here in the home studio, not just because they're 250s, but the coiled cable for me uh, just keeps things a little bit more neat. I don't have anything touching the floor. This is a medium length cable. Quite honestly, this is the perfect cable. The length and the coil, I wish they would do all their headphones, at least with this option or, you know, with this spec. Uh, and these also have the velour ear pads. So overall build, you know, in terms of the head pad and, and the way this feels on your head and how it doesn't clamp, all of these characteristics are the same across the board. What I've just tried to point out right there are the differences model to model.